Today we consider how to create database and table using Visual Studio. As you can see, this is my web application named SQL Database. Here, first of all, I'm going to add a database using Visual Studio. For that, right click on the project icon. You can see Add Icon, expand it, and add new item. Under that section, select SQL Server Database and give a proper name here. I'm giving my database. Now click add button. A warning will appear saying the new database will be placed under app data folder. Say yes. Now you can see the database file is placed under app data folder. It contains .mdf and .ldf. If you open the project directory, you can see under app data folder there are two files, .mdf file and .ldf file. Now, for managing the database, all you need to do is double click on the .mdf file. This will open Server Explorer. Now, you can see the database is already connected, my database.mdf. Here, we are able to create the database. Now, create the tables. For that, right click on the table. Yeah, now select Add New Table. First of all, you can rename your table here, this section. Instead of table, give students. Okay, now it's time to add more columns. If you noticed, there is only one column added, that is ID, its data type is int. For changing its property, all you need to do is right click on the column and select properties. Here, you can change the column properties. I'm going to add more column to this table. For example, name column which is having a mark here 50 which allows null and h which is having a data type integer okay so i'm able to create a table with three columns id name and age next step is click on this update button click on that yeah a new window will come saying update this to database click that yeah on the background, you can see so many processes are going on. If these changes are updated database, it says update completed successfully. Now close it. Yeah. Now you are able to create a database and add it one table which having three columns, ID, name and age. If you are using other versions of Visual Studio, for example Visual Studio 2010 or 2013, any version, this is the same step for creating a database and for adding new table. So here we have considered how to create database and its table using Visual Studio. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.